So, a short update on my Smarty 8300 uh, drive system. Um, first of all, uh, the current drive system consists of a VFD driven three phase motor driving more or less the original system but uh, using only two belts, not the uh, long belt spanning from the motor to the spindle. Um, I've tried the different uh, other systems as I will tell you also but as for now at least this here produces the, um, the best results. Um, <clears throat> I've uh, opted to use just a three uh, pulley system down here uh, actually from a Myford running up to the intermediate pulley which I have securely mounted and then more or less I can use the smallest to the highest uh, to the largest ratio here to the spindle and uh, not needing really that but I have uh, as you can see here a um, link belt system so this can then be swapped just moving over to the uh, other pulleys here by lifting the motor. So um, running it uh, via the VFD here, I'll just uh, put it on so I'll show you. So I'll start up the spindle. Now it's running at uh, 186 rpm. And as you can see here, I'm running at uh, <coughs> with the ratio of the belts here. Um, on a span uh, up to 1200 rpm because i set this to 100 hertz to get that at 50 hertz if i up the speed here up to 50 50 rpm you see 590 rpm here 50 hertz i mean on the belt okay and then I can up this to 100 a maximum of 100 Hz, 11.52 RPM. And this is my my normal setting. I can of course then regulate to get a lower speed by undoing just the motor belt by these while leaving this in place. So I think that's a, a good compromise. Um, of course, uh, can also then do away with the highest conversion ratio up to the pull the spindle here namely just swap this, but that's more job. So I think this is the um, the usual way to do it for me. 1200 being uh, sufficient. I can get up to 1800, maybe even 2000 on this also. If I just do this to one of the other steps here and the same here. But I, I don't think that's necessary really, not on this slate.
So this was uh, with the one-to-one -one ratio here, or almost, and the same here. So um, as you can see from 50 hertz setting, uh, I almost got the uh, nominal 1400 RPM. And uh, I could easily get it to run to 2000 RPM here. And of course with less uh, torque, but uh, still I think sufficient to drive the very, very small diameters. Uh, and uh, this is done by, of course, then just lifting here the motor. Uh, I mean, um, it's uh, hanging now on the on the um, the tension is given by the motor weight. I can also then make an, uh, some some sort of let's say hinge uh, type of mechanism. But anyway, just lifting out the belt here, of course, then and. Uh, in this case using the third pulley here i didn't go to bother to to use the in here and then i have only two left for the these two outermost but, but again i don't think it'll be uh, necessary to go anything higher than than what i've done here maybe not even higher with one to one on um, 50 hertz but uh, we're very seldom up to 2000 hertz and uh, 2000 rpm i mean and this is the system I used for the um, for the motor uh, changing positions uh, on the belt, just lifting the motor up. Is um, I think at least uh, a good um, good compromise. Just using that those three speeds uh, that I can get with changing the belt position. And this is a one um, horse motor, three phase, um, seven hundred and. 50 watt motor 1400 rpm i have another one which is flange mounted which i could have used which is a little bit more powerful but i i see that um what happens is mostly that the belt is uh, slipping if i really really stress it so i think this this motor is uh, should be sufficient and it's also then uh, it's reused my first stuff just uh, from the um, counter shaft uh, the motorizing system on an ml7 actually So I think uh, all in all this uh, will serve me best. I have also tried with other uh, pulley systems and one thing I wanted to try uh, was this uh, poly-V or multi-rib system. Um, I uh, said in an early video then that I would want to use this here which comes from a Mistro a ML8 or at least a Myford wood lathe. And I thought that would be the ultimate system to use. Uh, here I would have a ratio, as you can see, um, in five steps, which should cover the whole range. And my initial thoughts was to use this to, to cover that, uh, that ratio. Um, in one step like this, and then uh, with um, tightening device like so. I tried that also and that functioned quite okay but um, I found out that um, this is really too small of a pulley to use uh, for this kind of, um, of power so I would really need to use a, um, a bigger uh, system and uh, in this case I could possibly uh, use uh, uh, to a side like this and or have a, a I mean there are different sizes of these also but that's what I had here could modify these of course uh, breaking them down maybe to just two or three steps maybe a couple of steps but anyhow I uh, and the reason for doing these is that um, um, these are more flexible, of course, and can wrap around smaller pulleys. Um, the compromise with these ones are also better than the usual more stiff belt. And of course, the, um, the link belt here also is better. So I think with the setting today, uh, maybe I have to alter one or two uh, settings up to the spindle, but mostly leave that alone and then just 
just swap the speed to the to the motor pulley pulley, and this is easily done by just um, uh, well a simple lifting the motor up. So these ones uh, we'll have to do for another project. As you can see, I did modify them to fit the 19 millimeter uh, um, spindle on the motor and. Um, um, this board now and this has been fitted and been used for half a year actually on this machine on the spindle so it functions but I wasn't too happy with that anyway so and you could of course then have used other um, for the same but again because of the power um, requirement I think uh, a bigger belt would be needed uh, I also have then tried um, to use the regular board out of 19 mil, but I couldn't see the advantage with this one as compared to the to the Myford um, one I have uh, used here, the aluminium one. So this will also be stored. And uh, I tried this one, but that became too big, just to have four. So um, all in all, the way it is now today, I think it's uh, it's okay for me. I also tried um, a couple of different uh, VFDs, and this one, of course, being higher quality than the one Chinese one I have here, um, functioned better with regards to at least the uh, constant speed for the cross feed. But then again, this one's a little bit more powerful, so um, I opted to to uh, to go with that.